now we are going to slide to Psalm 29. Well, this is all about praise to God in his holiness and majesty. Hmm. I chose Psalm 29, 7 through 9. Okay. The voice of the Lord divides the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forest bare. And in his temple, everyone says glory. Ooh. Gosh, I love that word glory. <laughs> it's strong. All you know, right. Go ahead, Jack. Go ahead. And the voice of the Lord is our strength. He gives life to everything around us. God gives us the hand of salvation. And he gives it right now, not just in heaven. Yes. He blesses us right now, not just in eternity. Yes. He leads us and sustains us every day on earth mm -hmm. and blesses us as we develop our relationship with him. Yes, yes, and yes. You know, the more you give yourself up and let the Lord take over, the more he will come in and bless you. Mm -hmm. You've used you the word anything? surrender. Yes, the surrender. I, I need to ask the guys, have you got anything you're worried about today? Mm -hmm. Why don't you just give it to the Lord? Mm. He's there waiting to accept it. Mm. Let him carry your burdens. Mm. You know, he said, uh, you know, my, your load is heavy and uh, I will make it light. Mm -hmm. And he is the one who is the one that uh, loves us and cares for us and wants the best for us. Yes, he does. Mm. What's our implementation on these verses, Jack? Well, Lord, help me to listen to your voice as I go about my daily tasks. Give me a sense of your presence and help me listen for your word and direction. Uh, during the past few years, I've, I'm always listening for the Lord to tell me what to do. Hmm. When I'm working on a project, I'm listening for the Lord to give me his direction of whatever I need I'm working on. You know, I'm working on a book now called uh, God's Mercy and Grace. Mm. And I'm needing some fillers to fill it up. And yesterday, God gave me the word righteousness. Mm. He said, insert righteousness into the scriptures that you have. And that's just exactly what I needed. Wow. Well, you said even in your daily tasks, you're you're listening for him. That's Jack, right. I, I know you. You're you're a doer. You're you're a go-getter. You're gonna get things done, but yet you still hit that pause to look for the Lord to move in your task and throughout the day. Well, I I don't want to miss anything from the Lord. <laughs> you right. see? And right. I want the Lord to show me exactly what he wants me to do because I don't know everything I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Well, I guess that's right yeah. where he wants us, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, pray us out of Psalm 29, please. Father, you are my everything, and in you I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Bless me so I can bless others. Amen. And amen. And you just brought Philippians 4.13 into a closing prayer. Nicely done. Well, <laughs> another, another verse. Just a... Uh, you know, I, I've, I've learned these verses for a reason, because they are my, they're my guideline to life. And uh, that's why I think the Lord gives us his word, so to help us stay on track and to, to be what he wants us to be and do the things he wants us to do. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. All right. Now we're going to